Welcome back guys, this is Workout Master and we are now with episode number 20. On today's subject, before I introduce my friends here, we're going to be talking about how to choose and pick a good trainer. Somebody that's going to help you see yourself through the obstacles and the goals that you want to achieve. So pay attention because this is going to be a good one. Before we get started, I'm going to introduce our friend Dio that he's visiting for the day from Austin, Texas. He's another Czech practitioner and he's actually in town doing some business. So he decided to stop by, come to a studio. My studio, he's out of the living room. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and do some recording with us. Also, Aaron is here, as always, and myself, Ruben. So pay attention, guys, because this is going to be in depth. By the way, <laughs> before anything, uh, soon Dio is in town to record his special video yeah, right, that's for right. uh, baseball professionals yeah. or just well the... it's going to be uh, the basic of baseball and you know how the uh, movement relate to the game okay he's an ex, be... ex professional baseball player yeah. it could be kids and and, and up so there you go so right. we'll, we'll soon we'll have some sort of digital video for specifically for baseball yes okay all right so let's talk about training Let's do it. Uh, how, long, how long ago did you start in the profession? Uh, about 12 years ago. 12, I started about 12, 13. 1998 same. I did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so what, what's your take? Robert, what do you think? My take is that, you know, obviously, if you can afford a trainer, and most people should, it's not so much about the cost, it's about the proficiency, and how much that, that, that a trainer, that coach, whatever you want to call them, is going to be able to provide for the money that he's taking in return. Because this is the way I look at it. It's not so much how much a trainer costs, it's what he can do for you. So you can spend a hundred dollars with a trainer that can basically just, you know, keep you entertained for about an hour, or you can spend two hundred dollars with a guy that's gonna actually plan for you in an hour or two the next two to three months of your training. So when you put it in perspective, which one is the expensive and which one is the inexpensive and inexperienced trainer? Mm -hmm. That's one thing that I tell my clients. I charge a lot of money and I'm totally cool with it, but the information that I can provide for them in an hour, I can literally give them a bleeding hemorrhage, you know, just from all the information that I throw, <laughs> if they can handle it. That'll be one expensive hemorrhage. Yeah. <laughs> How so, about you, Dia? Um, what do you think? <laughs> what was the question they asked you? <laughs> he forgot about it. He didn't have enough saturated fat today. That's was traveling the, taking toll on your road. I guess so. About, uh, uh, what do you think, uh, what's the suggestion to find a good private trainer? Um, I, I'm gonna go with the side of people. I, I like okay. to relate to people. Okay. You know, what, what, what is that goes through their mind when when mm -hmm. they, they want to look for a trainer and what they should have in mind to look for a trainer? Absolutely. Okay. First of all, what you want to look into it, someone that wants to help you feel better. You can get that from the way they act, the way they look, and the way they have a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. So um, nowadays, you know, I mean, we promise not to bash anybody, and that's not the intention of this. But you can see how many, you know, uh, people in the industry are not what they preach, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had an interesting conversation off camera today mm -hmm. about we don't record everything. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a yeah. 20, 25 year old trainers mm -hmm. that has a, a fifty year old client, mm -hmm. and. Uh, the trainer shows them something and you know they look so healthy and everything but but really if they keep doing what they're doing when they're 50 they will not be in the industry because their plan doesn't work right. so this is where we bring you like the walk and talk kind of thing you know so mm -hmm. um did, did i answer the question with all this thing yeah, walk just, and talk is perfect. <laughs> basically if you hire a trainer let's say if you hire a 20 year old good looking kid he, there's a possibility that he knows something, yeah. or he might be just genetically gifted. That's right. Now, That's if right. you pick a 50-year-old trainer that looks excellent and you know how he achieved the results, right. chances are he is good at what he does. That's right. So you you know when the trainer gets to be a certain age, you know, he's either going to be you know following the principles of health, or he's you know cheating everybody else, you know, getting chemically enhanced. If you know so what that means, there's, there's, there's a different things. Absolutely. For me, I met a lot of very smart people within the exercise science mm -hmm. uh, that can talk about exercise very well. For me, personal is important. Can they apply to other people? 
That's, that's, that's application of what you know as a trainer, mm -hmm. I think is extremely important. So yeah. as Dio said, it's important to apply what you know to yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's also important to know how to apply what you know to other people. Absolutely. I've seen like really crappy trainers that know a lot, but there's no way they can teach it. That's right. So on top of just knowing a lot about exercise, you need to be a good teacher also. Yeah. Now another thing about private training in general, private training tend to be a very segmental approach. So exercise, nothing but exercise. And we happen to follow more of a holistic approach, and the reason why we started studying at Czech Institute, it's probably because Paul teaches more of a holistic approach. Oh, yeah. Ultimately, we are uh, unique in a way, and then we're a system of systems. So if you just follow just one system, but you don't know anything about other systems, you cannot really help. No. Or you cannot really no. achieve what you want. There's not, there's not yeah. going to be no adaptability. Exactly. So everything is going to be like regimental, like you're in the army. It's this way or the highway, and it's not like that. Everybody has different needs, different wants, and you have to be able to approach them at the level that they can actually understand, mm -hmm. at the level that they can actually feel and perform. If you're given something that they can handle, it's going to be a matter of weeks before they break, they get hurt, or because or they tell you, listen, you are in your stinking mind, and you know I just don't like this. This is insane. I cannot keep up with this. I remember starting in a profession when coming out of school. And basically learning about exercise, I'll learn uh, basically if somebody wants to come and lose weight, you got to make them exercise, so you punish. So I punished people for a couple of years, by the way, if you're watching, I'm very sorry that I did it to you. Uh, <laughs> but I learned better, so I know better how to do this stuff. Of course. So not everybody needs that particular approach. Some people might need it. That, that is exactly what people need to look for, is someone that is willing to say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning more now, I'm, I'm a better guy to help you, i got better information to apply to our program, yeah. Yeah. and then go from there. So that, that takes a lot to say that. So um, I want to add that uh, we could also look into... Uh, <laughs> we got it, yeah, 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 no, 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 I got it, but uh, uh, I want to go into trainers making programs, you know, uh, okay. you also want to look, you also want to challenge your trainer to uh, uh, have some kind of an idea of what they're going to be doing Plan. with you, Plan. instead of like uh, waiting for you in the gym. Oh, no, 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 I have it all in my head. Yeah, <laughs> or oh, get a, a piece of paper and just, and just go from there, you know, <laughs> I mean, you have to look for those things, because... You know, I've been in the corporate fitness before, and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you guys have mm -hmm. uh, as well. That's where I started. And, uh, and, and that's exactly how it is. So if you're shopping for a trainer, if you want to put it that way, so make sure you observe, you know, and, uh, and see how these people behave and um, what is that they're offering their, their people. So, so I, I, I think uh, number one important one, the person has to be passionate about what they do. Yes. Yeah? The yeah, passion is the must. Now, after passion, follows the knowledge, especially apply knowledge. That's or right. we can make it two, a knowledge and apply knowledge. Both of them. Right. Yeah? Number three. Now, how important do you think credentials are? They, they, they are important to a point. I mean, I think people get but, way too caught you, up on them. But you don't look at just at the credentials. I've seen way too many people with a lot of credentials not knowing how to apply what they learn. Absolutely. Let's call it for what it is. They're actually shitty trainers. Exactly. And then doing the same stupid workout with anybody else that day. I agree with that. I, I'd rather have someone to actually think about what is that I need mm -hmm. uh, as a client than someone that has five, six, seven certifications. I've, see, I've seen the trainers that don't have a single certification, they run a business, you know what I'm talking about, and they're very successful and very good just because they're passionate and they yeah. learn. Absolutely. You yeah. can learn everything you want from the books. You don't need to go get certification to learn. If you have an ability to think and read, Absolutely. chances are you're going to learn and you can probably incorporate it in well, your life and somebody else's let life. Let me put it this to you. Uh, you know, I mean, we're all you know, done stuff with the Czech Institute. But the Czech Institute, although it's a lot of information for those that want to embark on the program, <laughs> you're going to be in for a top surprise. Mm -hmm. Also, <laughs> realize how many books and how much stuff you have to read on the side. Mm -hmm. It's not that you have to do the correspondence courses and that you have to go to the, to the seminars and do some testing and stuff like that. It's the other stuff that you have to learn and decide. Well, guess what? There's no credentials for reading, you know, seven, eight hundred books that I might have on my bookshelf 
all about dealing with nutrition, kinesiology, periodization, program design, everything that I've studied, you know, massage therapy, neuromuscular therapy, neurolinguistics, all the stuff that we integrate into our program, there's no certification for a lot of the stuff. It's just your, your love for wanting to do better and wanting to do better with, with your clients. Exactly. Uh, anything else? Any, pick a happy person a happy that person. matches with you, and that walks like they want to help you and they have the intentions of making you better. Absolutely. Exactly. Anything else? Challenge everything they tell you. See how they react. You know, like honestly, if, uh, if you ask questions, I think it's probably one of the best ways to find out anything and everything about a person. As your trainer, why are you doing what are you doing one day? Out of the I, I love questions. Do you love questions? Yeah, yeah. I love questions. Sir. My love middle, questions. My middle name is questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So pick a passionate, happy person. Make sure you ask a lot of questions. Get yourself uh, a good trainer. And don't think about money per session, yeah? It's not. It's more about budget. Whatever your budget allows you to do, if you find a good trainer, they're going to find a way how to incorporate a good principles into your life Absolutely. within your budget. There we go. If you don't have a lot of money, listen to our video blog. This is the reason why we're doing it. Yeah, There's a lot of information. It's all for free, all for you to use it. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye guys. Take care.